Imagine waking up one day to discover that, for the first time in modern history, humanity is about to achieve something once thought impossible. Growing a tooth back. Not with implants, not with dentures, but with your own body. One injection, a single dose, and within a few weeks, what once was emptiness, pain, and limitation becomes a new beginning. This is real. It's recent, and it's being tested right now. In Japan, scientists are conducting one of the most ambitious experiments in dental medicine, activating dormant tooth buds, tiny structures that every human has, but that nature left in silence. Today, for the first time, science is learning how to listen to that silence and rewriting everything we thought we knew about tooth loss. If this is possible, what else might the body be capable of regenerating? It all began with a bold question. What if nature hadn't completely taken away our ability to grow new teeth, but had only pressed pause? At the heart of this discovery lies a protein called USAG1, which acts like a biological break, preventing the development of tooth buds in humans. Researchers at Kyoto University in Japan found that by blocking this protein, they could reactivate the body's natural ability to form teeth. The idea sounded impossible until it worked. The team developed a neutralizing antibody specifically designed to inhibit USAG1. When they tested it on animals, something extraordinary happened. A new tooth began to grow, naturally. No implants, no prosthetics, a real living tooth, complete with root, crown, and function, as if the body had simply remembered how to do it. To bring their theory into reality, scientists began by testing the treatment on mice, animals often used in medical research due to their genetic similarities to humans. They applied the anti-USAG1 antibody to mice that had lost a tooth, and the results were astonishing. A new tooth began growing exactly where the old one had been. Even more impressive, the tooth developed fully, with root, enamel, and natural integration with the jaw. Encouraged by these results, the team moved on to ferrets, mammals with a dental pattern more similar to humans, including both baby and permanent teeth. Once again, the treatment worked. By 2023, the study advanced to dogs, whose size and bone structure brought researchers even closer to real-world application. In all cases, the regenerated teeth showed no malformations or severe side effects, which gave scientists the confidence to proceed toward human trials. With promising results in animals, the next step was inevitable, testing this breakthrough technology in humans. In September 2024, Torigem Biopharma, a Japanese startup born from Kyoto University, officially launched phase one clinical trials. The first group included adults between 30 and 65 years old who had lost one or more teeth. The primary goal was to evaluate the safety of the protein treatment and monitor for adverse effects. The results? Encouraging. No serious side effects were reported, and early signs of tooth regrowth began to appear within weeks. But Torgem's plan doesn't stop there. The company is preparing for a second phase, this time involving children aged 2 to 7 with congenital tooth agenesis, a condition where some teeth never form. The goal is not just treatment, but a true cure. A future where losing a tooth is no longer permanent, but just another step toward healing. Tooth loss is not just cosmetic. It affects speech, nutrition, mental health, and self-esteem in profound ways. Millions around the world live with missing teeth, many without access to expensive solutions like implants or high-quality dentures. But this new biological approach could change everything. It opens the door to affordable, minimally invasive, long-lasting tooth regeneration, offering not just treatment, but dignity. Imagine a future where a single injection replaces a full surgical process with less pain, lower cost, and a better outcome. And beyond teeth, this breakthrough raises a deeper question. If we can regrow a tooth, what else might we be able to regenerate tomorrow? Tissues? Organs? Sight? This may not just be a dental milestone. It could be the beginning of an entirely new chapter in regenerative medicine. For centuries, we've accepted the loss of teeth as just another sign of aging. 
like wrinkles on our skin or silver strands in our hair. But science is now revealing something deeper, that within us lie dormant memories, biological instructions waiting to be awakened. When a single tooth grows back, it's more than a medical achievement. It's a reminder that the human body is wiser than we think, more resilient, more capable of healing, and that changes everything. If you've watched this far, it means you believe, like we do, that science can take us beyond. So subscribe to Curious First, hit the bell, and share this video with someone who needs to hear it. Teeth can come back, and what once seemed impossible may no longer be. Science is only beginning to unlock the hidden codes within the human body. If we can regrow a tooth, something so intricate, with nerves, roots, enamel, and perfect fit, it forces us to ask, what else might be sleeping inside us, waiting to be reawakened? Today, we talk about teeth, but researchers are already working on regenerating corneas, heart tissue, cartilage, and even parts of the brain damaged by trauma or disease. Biotechnology is advancing alongside gene editing, stem cell therapy, and breakthroughs that once sounded like science fiction. And perhaps, in just a few years, medicine will move beyond treating symptoms and step into the realm of restoration. One tooth at a time, one organ at a time, one life at a time. We're entering the age of regenerative medicine, and this little tooth might just be the beginning.